Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Double Deuce is on the loose. Now, today we're going to go over the new uh, 150cc V10. I think it's Rufia, Rufiera. Um, I don't know how you guys pronounce it, but uh, uh, the names don't mean much to me, but the product does. So, I have been in contact um, with Sterling Kit over this. Uh, for a while now um, I first seen this engine a long time ago I just it was in the larva stage where it was they were machining the block and stuff and um, and later on in the video you'll see that I had um, I had pictures of this stuff that leaked out to me um, early photos of it and uh, but my computer crashed and they're, <laughs> they're on my old computer so Anyways, uh, grab your favorite smoke, beverage, and popcorn, and hang out with Double Deuce today because we're going to get online, go right to the website there, and I'll let you guys see um, what they had posted about this engine. But anyways, guys, stay tuned. Uh, get comfortable. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. We're actually getting on the... Um, Rufia 150cc V10. This is on their website, um, and I'll also I'm going to include the links for both of these. But I wanted to go over some things. If you look down through here, we'll hit some specifications. There's a couple of videos here. Um, this, you know, there's one running. There's one running. Now the thing I notice here, and I don't know, um, I'm gonna have to ask them what ignition it comes with because uh, if you see here, there's a coil on plug, and down here is just spark plug. So I don't know what the configuration is on the one you buy, but I imagine they'll probably update that there's another you know it's 150 cc's 16 horsepower that's crazy and uh, let me see here we'll back this out just a little bit there we go um now the, there's only 20 of these made and it, they're extremely rare and they're the they're a high-end collectible um you can use them for car truck boat or a display or you can make something for yourself so uh, they go down through all the stuff here when like I say when you hit the link you'll be able to check it out on their website and uh, and they got the comparison between the typical um, model engine and the v10 version there and you know but the specifications are down here so Let's start reading them off. Let's see. Let me get the pen here. You got the brand and model. Ruvia P10-150. Engine type. Gasoline internal combustion engine. Configuration V10 four-stroke. Form. It's assembled and ready to run. Um, displacement. 150 cc's, you know. Um, born stroke. It's actually a balanced born stroke, 27 millimeter by 27 millimeter, which I thought was kind of unique. Um, it's a dual overhead cam, 40 valves, four per cylinder, and here they got the valve count again. Um, the compression ratio is 13.7 to one. It does have three rings. They have two compression and one oil, which I like that because it. You know, we need that in these engines now for the, the oil ring is really important. Uh, dual carbs, um, RPM range 2,000 to 11,000 RPM. Maximum power is 16 horsepower. That's, that's a lot, I'm telling you, for what it is. Uh, they got a water-cooled external centrifugal pump. Lubrication, independent lubrication system. On the side, it has actually a two-stage... NASCAR style oil pump 
one for high pressure, one to pump it back. So, and I do remember seeing some early leaked photos of this years ago, and I lost them on my computer because it crashed there. And uh, but it looked to me as if it had like the cross drilled crank. The block was pretty crazy. That's what I seen when they sent it to me. Um, so that was years back and uh, so this engine has been in development for a long time and uh, let me see I think that when I got those pictures I think the Toyin V8 was just coming out so that's how long ago it was and it's got a brushless electric starter motor 3 16 by 40 spark plugs um, high voltage coil ignition so it takes a 12 volt 3s lipo 150 amp ESC, so it's a 19 volt supply, uh, 5 to 6 S LiPo recommended, 92 octane gasoline, and the oil is uh, 4T engine oil recommended 5 W30, so 200 milliliters. Um, it weighs 12 kgs, the package weight is 15. And here are the dimensions. These are something you probably want to know. Um, 25.3 by 23.1 by 24.5 centimeters. That's the size of it. And of course, your package dimensions are 40 by 35 by 35 centimeters. Um, packaging, it says aluminum carry case. And your recommended age is 18 plus. So they go down through here and they give you a lot of, um, you know, answers to a lot of questions you guys are going to have. So when you get on a website, make sure you check it out, you know. Um, these are, like I say, there's just a handful of these made. And, you know, for the true collector that wants them, you know, now's your time. Um... Because it says here only 16 units remain out of the original 20. So I don't know how many um, are getting sold, you know. Now let's go to the other link I put in my video. And it's everything you need to know about it. You know, see there's your oil pump. Your water pump's over there. Um, it has like headers on it. And really nice machine work on this thing and it has a really cool looking um, air gap intake on it and like I said they go through a lot of the same information here but they get into some details so the ignition is a CDI ignition with um, dual hall sensors so uh, you know it's we're learning here but um, you know they give you more in-depth um, information on the, everything you need to know so click that link too um, and these have been tested for a year before they even decided to sell them the replacement parts on these things you know there there's supposed to be plenty of replacement parts but if needed you know but uh, what I was what I was told from them that um, when they developed this engine, if there was a problem with a part that was not up to standard or they felt there's going to be a problem, they would discard that part. And sometimes they actually had to make new molds for the castings mm -hmm. to, you know, upgrade uh, any potential problems. So, but like I say, this thing, you know... 13.7 to 1. I mean, it must have a really nice pop and build a lot of power, you know. And runs on gasoline. 93, they recommend. And, let me see. What you'll need to connect a fuel essential components before starting. Um, external oil tank, oil filter, and oil cooler. Uh, water cooling system. You know the radiator and pump um, but you know fuel tank and fuel line CDI ignition system so I don't know 
you just have to prepare this stuff and you'll need um, some batteries one for your ignition one to start it or two to start it and uh, they they really go down through a lot of the um, questions that we would ask they give you the, the cylinder firing order you know the left bank one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, you know they one through five is six through ten and I'm facing upwards like I <laughs> you know but I think this is your um, firing order there so I don't know I'm, like I say I don't have one in my hand to actually look at it and they, they give you you know technical troubleshooting and, but these are supposed to be all dialed in and running when you get them. So, you know, you just need a fuel essentials to hook it up. And, uh, you know, they have breaking oil for the first 25 hours. So I don't know if they're broken in because they said they were tested, you know, for a year. So you'd think they'd be broken in. So that's questions to ask. But I just wanted to show you guys this thing because, you know, it's uh, your parts replacement, your consumable spark plug belt oil, fuel filters replaced on a schedule, wear prone metal parts, um, pistons, bearing, crankshaft, precision made, replace is rare. replacement is rare but possible under extreme conditions. You know, always contact them for support. And uh, basically, they give you a storage, you know. Thing there and they give you restart and then they give you more troubleshooting and but it's just very detailed on the engine which I thought was nice because they did all their homework first and I imagine if you guys have any questions about the engine it is expensive but if you have any questions about the engine Put them in the comments and because uh, they read them too so but you know for now I just wanted to kind of like introduce this thing to you guys and you know I, I don't know if a lot of people have seen it I've seen it on Facebook here and there but I don't know if a lot of people are on the sterling kit Facebook page so but you know we'll go back to the top I just like the look of the engine itself. You know, it's just it's mind-boggling. You know, the detail just in the headers and the fit and finish from what I see from the photo is just it's just great. You know, I love it. So, anyways, guys, um, this is you know what it is. So. I know we like to keep our builds, you know, when we build something big and crazy, you know, sometimes, you know, you're on a budget, but still, this is the, probably the most expensive thing that I would put in an engine or a car, you know what I mean, or a truck or a boat, but anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe if you want, put the comments down below, and uh, like I say, we'll all go through them together and um, I probably will be contacting them uh, soon and uh, you know so if you put your comments in there they're they're gonna see them you know so and I you know any questions and stuff like that you know hopefully they'll respond to them there or I'll try to see if I can get an answer so all right guys you have a good one adios